The PGA Tours FedEx Cup playoffs get underway this week as the tour returns to Liberty National for the Northern Trust. The PGA Tour season is down to the final 125 in the FedEx Cup standing, so we're dealing with the best of the best, all of whom are eyeing up that massive first place prize. I am Brandon Gadula, managing editor at numberfire.com, and I will be breaking down three of my favorite golfers for the Northern Trust on FanDuel. Now, I won't fault anybody for starting their lineups with one of the superstars this week, such as John Rahm at a salary of 12000 or Jordan Spieth just below that, but I'm actually going to start off with someone in that 10000 range this week, and that's Victor Hovland at a salary of 10500 That's such a good salary for a golfer as good as Victor Hovland, and we see a lot of that this week because the field is so good and so deep. But Hovland's tee to green game is as strong as anyone's, and he ranks in the 93rd percentile in this field over the past year in strokes gained at tee to green. Once you account for recency, once you account for field strength, according to my database, Hovland, just one of the best tee to green golfers uh, in the world. Now, the short game is a bit of a concern, sure, uh, but the putting is trending up long term for Hovland. Uh, and the three winners that we've had at Liberty National in 2009, 2013, and 2019 have only ranked 26th on average uh, that week in strokes gained putting. That's a mark that Hovland can reach. This this event has been won by tee to green play, not putting in the past. There are small greens here this week. Really nice salary for, for Hovland. So I think that someone with Hovland's ball striking uh, just makes him an easy justification for uh, the salary for the Northern Trust. Now in the mid range, we have a name we rarely see with a nine in front of his name, and that's Patrick Reed whose FanDuel salary is 9900 for this week. Reed has played Liberty National in 2019, so he does have course experience, and that course experience actually is a win. Uh, Reed ranked fourth that year at, uh, among cut makers at the Northern Trust in strokes gained tee to green. He was abnormally good with the driver, ranking second in strokes gained off the tee. That's not usually how he thrives, but he, he put it together that week. Uh, at the Northern Trust, and that's actually doable at a course because at this course because it doesn't demand golfers to pound a driver and rate out really well in overall driving distance. That's not that's not Reed's game. That is not a must here this week at Liberty National. So that sets up really well for Patrick Reed. Reed actually is in the 99th percentile in this field in adjusted strokes gained if you ignore off the tee play and look just at the iron play, the around the green play, and the putting. Uh, so he's one of the best. He gets one of the biggest boosts whenever driver's not an absolute must. He's also 90th percentile in scrambling. So a lot is pointing to Patrick Reed at a course where historically the winners have been between 9 and 11 under par. We're not looking at 20 under par, not looking at a birdie fest. So a lot pointing to Patrick Reed for this week. Now, this week it is vital that we get six out of six golfers in our lineups through the cut with just 124 golfers in the field. The odds of a made cut do go up substantially compared to a full field of 156 golfers, but we cannot get careless. And Charlie Hoffman has made plenty of cuts at Liberty National. Uh, his salary is 8,300, and Hoffman has, is one of four players in this field to make all three cuts at Liberty National since 2009. That is digging back pretty far again, 2009, 2013, and 2019, but that's really just an added benefit to what we're getting from Charlie Hoffman and his current profile which is really quite strong. Uh, Hoffman is strong in three of the four strokes gained areas, the weakness being around the green play, but that's always the one that we can overlook most easily. And more importantly, Hoffman is in the 93rd percentile in this field in adjusted uh, strokes gained approach over the past year with the field strength uh, adjustments, with the recency adjustments. So uh, he's basically one of the best in the most important stat for this week, has good form at the course. So a lot is pointing to Charlie Hoffman for the week. But that's going to do it for me for this week on the FanDuel Hurry Up. Best of luck with your bets and your FanDuel lineups for the Northern Trust. 